Once again, welcome back to Fear the Moon, this time for Chapter 2, as now the full game has been released. If you want to check it out, the links and the details are of course down below in the description as usual. But here Jane is getting carried to the house after being attacked by the Wolfman. What's her fate going to be? We're about to find out and I really hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Okay. Here I am, waking up in a cage by the looks of it. Huh. Alright. So, we're inside that house. We're not too far away from where we were camping. My head hurts, she says. I feel so... strange. Like something's under my skin. Is she gonna turn, do you think? I wouldn't be surprised. What did that thing do to me? Yeah, what indeed. Well, that thing didn't lock you in, apparently. <laughs> Might have stuffed you in the cage, but that was it. Here we are then, chapter two, alone. Am I? Right. What do we got down here? Storage, okay. I could store things inside here. Ah, right, okay. It looks like I don't have any inventory items anymore, but there's plenty of slots in this container. Okay. This is where we save? Nice, okay. What else have we got down here? There's a backpack. Oh, Melissa's backpack. This looks like Melissa's backpack. I should try to find her. Yeah, dead or alive, but apparently now I can carry more items. Two more, in fact. Okay, that's quite nice. Okay, so we can use the light switches. That's nice. Okay, should we get out of here? Should we exit the safe room? Let's do it. Right. Oh my, look at those scratch marks. Is there a way through this? I oh, okay, it's it's actually too dark to go that way. I'll need something to light the way with. Ah, well, I did have a lantern before, didn't I? But I guess that was stripped off of me when I was carried here. Oh? The door opens, but it doesn't open very far. There's no chain or anything like that? Looks like there's more cages through there. No sign of my friends, though. I want to know what happened to James. Yeah, he was he was very suspicious, wasn't he? Okay, under here? Alright. Nothing on the table. Oh, but I can be underneath it, hiding. Okay, good to know, good to know. Right. Let's see. Around here? Well, this one opens all the way. Wonderful. Right. Okay, so let's have a look at the drawers here. What's this? Wolfman's House, page one. It was their sophomore year of high school, and Toby had finally convinced Michael to come with him to the Wolfman's House. He had wanted to go all summer after hearing about the ghost dogs that haunted the property. The house was chained shut on every entrance, so Toby brought some bolt cutters. They managed to get into the basement. Upon entering, they found strange stone artifacts, old books, and even an old sword. The artifacts seemed to be inscribed with something but not in a language either of them knew. Hmm. If there's a page one, I guess there's going to be a page two. Doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be anything on TV, though. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe over here? Just some old books. Right. Can we hide under the bed? Uh, we noticed that it smells strange and there's bugs crawling around on it. I guess I'd rather not, then. Okay. Nothing down there? Well, oh, the drawer seems stuck. Oh, interesting. Okay, well... I guess I'm going to need to find something to unstick it. Hmm. Okay, so we can turn that off. Right. What about on this side? We've got some bottles down here. They're all empty. Okay. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh, something on the back? All right. Batteries? We're taking the batteries, I think. We're taking the batteries for some reason. I don't suppose the batteries are going to help us with this, right? No, I can't use that here, but I can use them somewhere. Curious. Okay. This way, then? Maybe following the blood? Yeah, maybe not. Let's go left. Okay, here we are, the bathroom. It's not real, apparently. <laughs> I wish. I wonder who wrote this. Hmm. Okay, nothing down there? Nothing at all. What about the toilet? Oh, no need for that. I wonder if it even works, as I often do. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, okay, a pocket knife embedded in someone's skull. Thanks for that. Right, 
Uh, <laughs> I can't draw the curtains back. Okay, fine, fine. Um, so a pocket knife. Yeah. All right. Oh, this is locked. Uh, I don't suppose I can knife my way in, can I? I can't pick a lock with this. Hmm. I might be able to use the pocket knife on the drawer, though, don't you think? I might be able to do it. Hey, there you go. Thanks, uh, Toby, was it? I've got a golden key. Alright, is the golden key going to be for that door that I just tried? I suppose it's kind of got to be, right? Unless, of course, I've missed the light source. Yeah, there you go. Right. It's a bedroom. All the windows seem to be barred off. Yeah, typical, eh? Alright, what we got here? Nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a lockpick, actually. Nice. It's pretty handy. What about over here? Nothing down there? No. Nothing. Right. The blood seems to be going towards this door, which is locked. Seems like something's leaning against the door. Hmm. Time to find out what it is, I suppose. Oh! Oh, shit! That's Melissa, isn't it? Shit, is that Melissa? She's... She's dead. I can't believe this is happening. I need to get out of here. But not before I pick this up. Flashlight, right, cool. So, let's drag... Oh, some like some... Oh, right, that, the batteries, the batteries, yes, yes, okay. There you go. Look at that. Hey, thanks, Melissa. Sorry about, you know, this. <laughs> Whew, okay. Anything over here? Just some old books, okay. Uh, now that the two batteries are inside the flashlight, do we need to worry about them draining? I don't know. Looks like a standing mirror. I wonder why it was covered. Hmm, let's find out. Oh, okay. It's... it's me! It's just a mirror. Yeah, I guess the wolfman doesn't like his reflection. Right. So with this, I should be able to go into the darker area, right? Down the other end of the corridor. So yeah, I've got to uh, I've got to keep that in mind. That's somewhere to hide. I suppose there is going to be a reason to hide at some point. Oh shit. <laughs> and maybe that time is now. Uh, okay, right. So is it just going to be like roaming around? That's kind of exciting, actually. Yeah. Might be quite challenging. Was that it? Unless it's very quiet, I think that might be it. You know, it might not be the worst idea for me to go back into the save room and save, right? There you go. <laughs> well, let's try this again. Round the corner. Okay. Sounded like it was real close. Maybe just through here? Uh, looks like I won't be getting out this way. Right. Hmm. Okay, let's let's try this door. Let's be quite systematic about it. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? Wait, who's this? I need help. Hello? Is someone in there? I guess so. It sounds like someone may be stuck inside. I should try to find a way in. Yeah. Well, this red door is locked. Uh, I, <laughs> the pocket knife? Can't pick a lock with that. Right, I guess I broke the previous lock pick, unfortunately. Maybe I can find another one. Okay. That's locked as well. Again, I'll try the pocket knife. No. <laughs> I've still got the pocket knife, though, so yeah, it might come in handy. Red, blue, and green. It's locked by a padlock. I can't open it. Ah, it's a combination lock. Okay. Well, I guess there's going to be a, a red number, a blue number, and a green number, right? Hmm. Somewhere else to hide? Seems like it. Okay. Oh. Nothing in there? Doesn't seem like it, does it? Oh, the sink. The sink seems to work. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do I want to knife the sink? No, that isn't necessary. Curious, though. Very curious. Ooh. Wait. Well, there's no there's no blue items here. I was wondering if the red might be the red cup and, you know, the the aerosol cans might be the green, but 
Unless the... Hmm. <laughs> it's not going to be 113, is it? No, funnily enough, it's not. It's probably got something to do with that door back there, actually. That was like a red door, wasn't it? Let's see. Down here. Oh, and here's a blue door, which is also locked. And I guess the pocket knife isn't going to do anything. All right. Is that coming out of this blue room? I guess. I suppose we'll be going in here, will we? Yeah, it looks like it's locked by some sort of security system. Hmm. Oh, and there's a green one as well. Again, also locked. Alright. Should this worry me? Because I'm kind of worried. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, finally, a door that isn't locked. Okay. Alright, let's see. Have we got anything over here? Can I read this? No? I'm still looking for page two, of course. Close that up. What about this side? Ah. Oh, here we go! Page two of the Wolfman's house. Toby brought some equipment with him to help hunt for the ghost dogs, including a spirit box thought to allow the dead to communicate with the living, and an EMF reader believed to detect the presence of ghosts. Toby couldn't have been more infused as he held the EMF reader inside each cage, watching it rocket up to its highest level. Five. Watching sent chills down Michael's spine, but he wrote it off as bad wiring in the dilapidated house. Still, though, the house gave him such an unsettled feeling, especially the strange noises he kept hearing coming from the empty rooms. Yeah. Is there going to be a page three? I don't hope so. Right. I uh, don't know if I like the bloodstains all that much, gotta be honest. Let's see, what we got in the drawers? Nothing. Uh... Okay, this drawer seems stuck. But is it really? No, it's not. Not when I've got that pocket knife. Again, thanks, Toby. Oh, here we go. A green key. Brilliant. Oh. I can't get it open. It's locked. This probably isn't going to work, is it? No, the key won't fit. And no. I need to find myself some more lockpicks. What is that? Oh, it's a hammer, I think. Is that it? Hmm. Alright, so we've got some cages down here. Can we just... Yeah, we can... We can unlock the cages. Oh, goodness gracious me. Who was that, I wonder? Oh, what's this? We're gonna... We're gonna grab the entrails, apparently. It looks like something might be inside of whatever that disgusting stuff is. I could probably find something to grab it out of there with. The pocket knife? No, okay. The pocket knife is not like a cure-all in this game, unfortunately. Right, this way. Oh. Alright. Oh, hey. Hey, okay, so that was that was a nice little shortcut back. Okay, so we've got the, the green key, right? So... It's going to be this one over here. Yes, it is. Okay. Nine. Okay, so that's that's the green number. We just need to find the other two. It's always listening. Be careful. It hates loud noises. Will do. Is that a skull? A dog skull? A wolfman skull? This wood seems thin. I could probably break it down with something. Maybe that hammer? Yeah. What about this vent cover? I can't pull it off with my hands. It's fastened to the wall. But wait, they're like cross-head screws. You might actually be able to use the uh, the knife. No? No, I, I guess not. Alright, what we got here then? Oh, th wait, there's a glove. Is that... Is that for the entrails, do you think? Oh, wait, hang on. Nothing in there? Nothing in there. Okay, fine. Maybe, right? It might be. It's the only thing I can think of right now. So, yeah. I just don't want to get my hands dirty. <laughs> right, let's try it with the glove. Okay, yeah, that's working. What is that? It's... Oh, it's a lockpick! It's a dirty lockpick. Oh, the sink! The sink! Okay. It's all falling into place. Oh, was it in here? Right? There it is. Okay, so we're going to wash this off and that's going to allow us to get into the cabinet. 
to get to the hammer. And then we're going to break down the boards, is that right? Well, I guess we'll see, won't we? Right. Uh-huh, it's locked, but not for long. Right. Ah, why are they always one-time use? Right. Yeah, the only thing inside is this hammer. Um... So... I don't know, is that like a... It's a, it's a melee weapon? It's a melee weapon. Fantastic. Okay, well, I suppose what we need to do then is we need to go over here and we need to break those boards down. Uh, without making too much noise, ideally. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, right. We're definitely in danger right now. Okay, hide, 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 hide. <sighs> Maybe turn the flashlight off? Oh shit. Can I not do that? Are we okay? I don't think we're okay. Right. It's still wandering around. Oh, I think it was getting close to the door, but it actually went back. Right. Okay. What was that? What on earth was that? I don't hear it stomping around anymore, though, so that's good. Did it go up there, do you think? Is it above me right now? It might be above me. Anyway, okay, we got we got this broken down. I guess we probably don't want to break the vent cover the same way. Okay, there's a box down here. Here we go. This one doesn't need a code or anything. Ah! It's a red key! For the red door. Right, I, that was that was where I heard someone. Is that it? Is that all I'm going to find? I guess that's all I'm going to find. Okay, nine. Green is nine. I guess on the way back I might be able to sort that out, right? Okay, so... Nine. I could probably trial and error it, but let's not. Here we are then, the red door. It's locked, but not for long. We're going in. Right. I did hear someone from in here. But have they now turned into a wolf man? Seven? Seven, okay. Right, that's gonna cause some noise, isn't it? I don't know if that's so wise. Um... Okay, there's another door over here. Wait, what's this? This mechanism looks like it's missing a piece. <laughs> like a, a lever or something? I don't suppose you can put the hammer in, can't you? No, I, I can't use that here. Okay, fine, fine. Always nice when you see a rib cage leaning up against the wall, isn't it? Hold on. What we got down here? Page three! The spirit box had been going off intermittently while they were there, but nothing too conclusive was said from it. Toby sat it next to the upstairs door while he unsuccessfully tried to pry it open. Then, a distant crash was heard from upstairs, followed by snarls. Some sort of animal? The spirit box seemed to react to its presence immediately. First, it went silent. Then it started screaming, as if in multiple voices. Run! 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 The moon swallows you whole- Then cutting to loud, high-pitched static, causing them both to cover their ears. The creature above roared. It doesn't like loud noises. Wait, there's something in there? Another box. Maybe another key? Oh, it is. That's the blue key. Okay. Right. We are going to need to break that, aren't we, for some reason? There is something beyond it. There's a, there's a hole in the wall. Right. Here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Right. I, I, uh, I don't know if this is really the wisest place for me to hide, but hey, it's somewhere. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's in the room with me, and I probably shouldn't poke my head around the corner. Oh, was it over there somewhere? Oh, oh. Okay. 
It seems to be leaving me alone. For now, at least. So far, so good. We're still alive. And there's that sound again. I think that's the sound it makes when it leaves the area. I think we're okay. Alright, so what did we uncover? There's a hole. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? That looked goofy as hell, but it still freaked me out. Wait. That's what we're missing, right? It, yeah, it's some sort of lever. It's too far for me to grab with my hands. Uh, with the hammer, maybe? Uh, not long enough to reach. The pocket knife! No, that won't help. <laughs> probably... Probably something that we're gonna find past the blue key door, if I had to guess. Is that it? Right, that's it, it seems. Okay, alright, cool, cool. Okay, if it's safe, we're heading to the blue door. But wait, what was it? Was it seven? Okay. Yeah, the red. The red is seven. Okay. So we're just looking for whatever blue is. And I suppose we're about to find out what it is, aren't we? Okay. Five. We can go upstairs? But I think that's where the wolfman is! <laughs> Do we have to go upstairs? Uh, not necessarily. Right, let's go back and open that chest. Okay. So the middle digit is a five. Seven, five, nine. Yeah, that, that gets it open. And we find a cane handle. Right, just the handle. Where's the rest of the cane? Because to be honest, what I'm thinking is, if we find the cane and the cane handle, maybe we can use that to hook the lever. Right. Well, maybe I'm going to find the cane upstairs or, or somewhere through here. Let's see. I'm liking this. I'm liking this quite a bit, actually. Am I destroying this? Oh, I might be. There is... Oh, oh wait, no, no I, I don't need to destroy it. I can just push it away. Ah, I, I can't pull it off with my hands. It's fastened to the wall. Maybe I should try and smash it. I don't know. What about through here? Oh, it's locked. Uh, <laughs> I can't use that here. I bet you could. It just wouldn't be that effective. <sighs> okay. Upstairs? I'm heading upstairs. Is this going to be locked? No, it's not. What the hell is this? Is that like... You know, the wind howling from outside, or is that something else? I don't like the fact that there's loads of blood around it. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Right. Something in the kitchen, perhaps? This way? The door is jammed somehow. It won't budge. Ah, oh, typical way. Eh? Anything in here? No? Okay. Right, we've got various cupboards and drawers. Oh, and there's a key! A safe room key! Okay. I guess there's going to be another one? Because, you know, the first one was unlocked, wasn't it? Nothing down here? Nothing getting cooked in the oven? No? Oh, here we go, page four! It pulled Michael from under the table. He screamed, but the sound was cut off as his throat was ripped out. His body went limp. Toby witnessed the whole thing. The creature began eating him on the floor. Toby used it as a chance to get away. The entrance they used seemed to have been locked somehow. He tried to open it quietly, but it wouldn't budge an inch. Panicked, Toby tried to get as far from the thing as possible. He found himself in a bathroom. A distant growl was heard, followed by footsteps. Toby jumped into the bathtub and closed the curtains. The creature entered, bashing the door down. Then silence. Much time went by. Toby opened the curtain slightly, but there it was, standing there, concealing its presence. It roared and grabbed Toby by his leg, tearing the muscle from it with its sharp teeth. It tore his stomach open as if going for the best meat first. Toby laid there wishing for death, but it never seemed to come. The creature wanted him alive. It wanted him fresh. And that's where we found him, right? The drawer again seems stuck. However, we have a pocket knife. What's inside? Oh, it's a lockpick. Hey, okay. Uh, we do unfortunately have a full inventory though, so maybe I should get rid of some of this. Right. Um, 
Yeah, that's jam. That's not locked. That's not the answer. Through here, perhaps? Maybe. Okay. Alright. Oh! Okay, so here's the other safe room. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Let's go in and let's save. It's been a while, right? Okay. Do I need to drop anything off? I don't think so. Oh, Jesus Christ! <sighs> that actually got me more than I'd care to admit. Yeah, I've still got a couple free slots, so that's something. Ah, look! That's the cane! That was the cane! What? I'm sorry. What is this? The stick is stuck inside the mouth. I can't pull it out. Oh. Uh, okay. We can't fit the handle on right now, can we? Oh, shit. Wait, place bone? It's a dog skeleton. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, it does actually look like some of the bones are missing. You're right. Um, <laughs> can we... Can we maybe use a hammer? No, no, that's not a bone. Okay. What's this? Max had a taste for blood and an impossibly strong bite. He lived away from the other dogs and attacked anything on sight. Then, one day, a raccoon found its way inside. It didn't stand a chance as Max wrapped his mouth around its neck, ferociously shaking and tearing it to shreds. There was one thing that would release Max's death grip, offering him a fresh bone to bite on instead. Uh, oh, left foot? Okay. Right femur? A humerus? A forearm? Oh, I recognize some of these areas. Shoulder blade. Wait, there's something in there? There wasn't anything in there, though. And there wasn't anything in the bin, either. Right. But yeah, there's, there's various bits missing. I guess we need to complete this before we can get the cane. <sighs> okay. Let's see. It doesn't want to move, probably, because there's something on the other side here. Hang on, hang on. Can I just destroy this? There we go. Oh dear. Right. I think it's time to hide. Oh, I can't do that right now. Oh, that's not good. Oh shit. Oh shit! Okay, time to go, time to go, time to go. Did it come out of there? I don't know. I don't know. Right. Uh, around here. Where was that table? Shit! Oh, that was close. Okay. Ah! Ah! It's not going to check? I don't think it's going to check. It's going to have a look at the sink instead, stupid mutt. Oh. Right. Just go away, would you? Okay. It's still patrolling the area, so I... Yeah. I want to wait until it's gone, and I think now it might be gone. Okay. Is there something in here? No, there was there was a bin shown, though, right? And then in here? Was that there before? I don't think there was anything there before, but we've got a right foot. Right, we're taking that with us. And one of the drawers, I think, was shown as well. This middle one? Uh, it, we've got the right shoulder blade. And that's all, unfortunately, we can carry. But right, okay, let's let's start rebuilding the dog. We've got a few more to find after that, though, I think. Okay. Right, yeah, we might want to have a look in there as well, but let's, let's sort this out first. Okay. Six bones still missing. Okay, well. Only four now. Right. Could we use this again? We could. Okay, yeah. It seems like we can't, you know, be a coward if we're getting chased. We can't just dive in there, which is probably a good thing, in a way. Okay. I guess there was somewhere to hide over here. Is that it? Oh, no, no. There's, the, there's another bone. This is the humerus, actually. There you go. Let's add that to the mix. Nice. Okay, so there's the left foot in a bin. Uh-huh. We can actually control the cameras properly. Interesting. Wait, is that... That's like next door. The femur's inside the... 
the washing machine? Or the dryer? Right, and that was like the sort of torture room where I heard that voice. Okay. So hold on. There's one here. Oh yeah, there you go, there's the left foot! Okay. There's only two more that I need to find. Right, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Just want to make sure that he's not lurking around the corridors. No one in here? No? Right, I think I think this is the bone that I want, isn't it? There you go, the right forearm. Still don't really know where that voice came from. I guess through there, right? But I don't know who it was. It wasn't James. The others are dead. Very strange. Right, okay, so... Where do I do the laundry? Around here! Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. <laughs> A pour out of nowhere. Didn't like that. Oh, please continue to be stupid. Do not look underneath the table. This table has helped me out so much. Okay. Okay. Alright. Go back to your hole, please. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Round the corner. Nice. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that made me jump. <laughs> right. Over here. Uh-huh. Pretty sure, yeah, again, there was nothing there before, but now there's a right femur bone. Okay, I think we've got them all. I think we can rebuild the dog, and hopefully the dog is now going to give us the cane. And, yeah, if I reconstruct the cane, we might be able to get the lever. Using the lever, we might be able to open the door, and then we might be able to rescue whoever that was that was asking for help earlier. Right? Okay, so right forearm goes down, there's the femur. That's it! It's a complete dog, I'm pretty sure. Let's try that button again. Yeah? Hey, there we go. Alright, so we got the cane stick. Okay. Oh shit, it's coming. Oh crap. Ah. Oh. Right. Okay, right. Go, 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 go. Okay. Again, I'm going to be relying on Old Faithful, that table round the corner. I mean, I want to be down here anyway, don't I? Oh, please. Please. Don't. Should I be worried about the vignette around the outside of the screen? I don't know if that's like a stealth thing, or if that's like a you're going to turn into one of these guys kind of thing. Maybe both. Uh-huh. You keep howling. You keep howling and missing me completely, okay? Right. I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna regret that decision, I think. Oh god. Oh. Is it gone? I think it went up there. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I think what I want to do is probably go through here, use the cane to reach through the hole and see if I can maybe drag this towards me, right? Okay, too far for me to grab with my bare hands. It's okay. I've got a cane. There you go. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Very well balanced. <laughs> I'm very impressed. But there you go. Okay, so that's going to go in the wall, and hopefully that's going to help with the door. Right? Okay, so the lever goes there. Is this going to make a noise? Probably. I guess I can hide around there again. You know, it didn't. That was actually much quieter than I thought. Oh, oh, hey! James! Jane, is that you? James! Thank God you're alive! Same for you. I thought I was the only one left. I think it's just us. 
The wolfman got Melissa and Jack. What? Melissa too? It wasn't supposed to be like this. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean, James? Uh, nothing. No, no don't, uh, nothing me. <sighs> Look, we need to get out of here, he says. Yeah, I've been trying. But this place is like a prison. Tell me about it. I think there's some sort of security mechanism locking some of the doors. That's how I got trapped in here. You'll need to turn it off somehow. Okay, I'll try. But will you be okay in there? Yeah, I'll be fine. It hasn't found a way in yet. <laughs> yes. By the way, are you feeling alright? You look a bit strange. I don't know. Strange? Strange how? I'm not sure. Just something about your eyes. Forget it. It's probably just the light. This place has me feeling crazy. Yeah, me too. Oh, and hey, before you go, you should take this. Might come in handy for you. What's that? Oh, a, a screwdriver, yes, for the for the vent covers. I think we've seen like two or three of those, so yeah, cool. Thanks, that's just what I needed. Right. Okay, so... Yeah, here's the security system again. Hmm. I don't suppose I can just like... No. <laughs> Too easy. Uh, Alright. A Phillips head screwdriver. Let's equip. Yeah. Seems I can't use this as a weapon, so I can't really defend myself with this, but... Hey, as long as there's a table around, I guess I don't need to, do I? Right, so where did I see these? Uh, there was there was one around here, wasn't there? Yeah, I pushed the box out of the way. Okay, here we go. Unscrew. Here we are. And again. Okay, we have to do it for all four of them. Alright. Let's go prone, Z. Okay, brilliant. We're crawling through the vents now. This is a fun chapter. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this a great deal. It's pretty simple. It's fairly easy, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, here we go. Main control. Now, I'll need a code to unlock this, unfortunately. There's another hole here. Is that just... I think that's just looking out into the corridor, right? Oh, and there's James. We're on the other side now. Ah. Oh. Hey, look at that. Ah, yeah, okay, just another shortcut. Um, shit. The other one that I can remember is next to the laundry machines? Washing machine, I think? To the right of it? Here we go, here it is, okay. There's three, and there's four, let's go in, okay. I think the wolfman's probably too big to crawl through the vents, right? <laughs> I hope so. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself. What's this? Alright. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is right near the beginning, isn't it? Yes, yes, okay. And you know what? It, it's been a while, so let's enter the safe room and let's go and save again. Good stuff. Okay. Right. So in here. What do we got? A dead crow? Hmm. Looks like a dead crow. Indeed it does. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but there's a cat here as well. A dead cat. Poor thing. Wait, there's something down here. Oh, and there's a code! Right, hold on. Caged prey. On a farm, there was a barn cat. In the day, it would hide from dogs. In the night, it would hunt for rats. It loved to break their legs and watch them struggle, making them think they could escape before eating them whole. But one day the cat grew bored and saw birds by the road, and so that day it decided to hunt for crows. It snuck real close and waited for its time to strike, and when the time finally came it lunged on its prey and it died. But what the cat didn't see was the incoming car. The car was too fast, so the cat couldn't get very far. The car hit the brakes, but it was too late. The cat had gone from hunter to prey. Kind of. But okay, cat, dogs, rats. Right, cat, dog, rat, crow. Is that the combination? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so cat, dog, rat, crow. Yes, there you go. Again, very simple, but here we go. Here's the code called code. 5714. 5714.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, did, did that make noise or not? I mean, it made noise, but did the wolfman hear it? That's what I want to know. Right, we need to go back round, don't we? Um... <laughs> oh my god, okay, 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 okay. We're not going, we're not going in there. Under here? Okay. And again, underneath the table. The tables are just the best in this game. Wow, that was really, really good. I'm really liking this. Yeah, I'm really, really liking this. Is it on the way? If anything, it sounds like it's getting f further away. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I think it's jumped up to the floor above, or it's gone into that weird bloody crack. Okay, so five, seven, one, four. You know what? It, it, this might be pointless, but yeah, at least I can defend myself with this. <laughs> if it's just going to be popping up in the corridors, you know? Okay. I think we're okay, right? Let's see then. We can either go through there or use the door. I think it's probably easier to just use the door. Here we go. Okay, so five, seven, one, four. System online. Okay. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh. Crawl in there, please. Okay, I put the code in. Did it work? Yes! I think we should be able to get out of here now. Okay, let's go. The wolfman could come any second. Yeah, I'll meet you at the basement entrance. Be careful. You too. Don't let it hear you. Basement entrance? Where's that? W was that the other security door? I, I suppose so. Right. And he just goes strutting his stuff. He knows more than he's letting on. That much is obvious. But I don't know to what extent, to what end, you know? Was it this one? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were the wolfman. In fact, you might be one of the wolfmen. I don't know. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Yep, this is the basement. Somehow he knew that. Okay. So is this going to be chapter three? Hold on. There we go. Yeah, chapter three, acceptance. Right, what have we got down here? Can we have a chat? We can. Hey, I know things are rough, but it's going to be okay. We can get out of this. I don't deserve to make it out of this. What? Why would you say that? Look, Jane, there's something I haven't been telling you. Obviously. It wasn't Jack's idea to come here. It was mine. What? What do you mean? I knew the Wolfman was real. Well, I knew it was more than just stories anyway. What? How would you know something like that? Well, you know already. My dad's a cop, and people really did go missing out here. But that's not the full story. He told me they found one of the bodies. They were completely mutilated. In a way no animal out here could have done. Not even a man. There was a big hunt looking for whatever could have done it. They thought it could be a bear or something, but they didn't find a thing. But my dad always warned me to never come out here after that. He believed something was out here. And he was right. I knew the stories. I knew it would be a full moon tonight. So I told him we should come here. And you know Jack. He's always been obsessed with cryptids, so of course he jumped on the idea. And the thing is supposed to be territorial, so when it got late I told him about the shack. Convinced him it was a good idea. I watched from the woods as the thing broke in and pulled him out. I heard him screaming. But after that, I knew things were going too far. So I ran after him, but when I found him, he was dead. The creature had already eaten away most of him. I started to run, but it caught me. I screamed and tried to get away, but it just knocked me unconscious. I guess it wasn't hungry for me yet. But why would you do this? They're our friends! Because I hate him! I've always hated him! Him and his perfect life, and how he always rubbed it in our faces. Like getting married to the perfect girl. He dragged us all the way out here just to tell us that. She should have been mine. I just wanted their perfect night to get ruined. I wanted him to hurt. Look, I know I'm twisted, but I really didn't mean for it to end up like this. 
Can you ever forgive me? No! No, you are pathetic. But it seems we have a choice here. Ah. Jane, what are you going to do? <laughs> you are pathetic. You really are pathetic. But hey, you know what? Maybe maybe this is going to lead to a better ending, a more forgiving ending. It's called acceptance, right? Maybe I can. Look, I don't believe you wanted it to go this far. But it did, and we can't change that now. I don't know if I can forgive you, but right now we just need to focus on getting out of here. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I won't let you down, I promise. You better fucking not. Otherwise that screwdriver's- oh, I was gone. Oh. I was going to threaten him with a screwdriver, but- <laughs> I guess he's gone somewhere. Oh, another save room? Okay, seems like it. No jump scare this time? Right, do I want to put anything away? I don't suppose I need this anymore, do I? Um, we'll keep the others just in case. Right, two free slots. Let's see what the basement's got in store for us. Okay. Alright, so through here. Okay. What's this? Hmm. Can't seem to do anything with it. Ah, uh, we've got all these mirrors, though, that I can rotate. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm. I think we're going to get some light from somewhere. And based on this, maybe it's going to be moonlight. There's a mirror out here as well. The weapon. An unstoppable beast. An insatiable bloodlust. It will tear out every piece of you until there's nothing left. A sword to kill it, hidden in the dark. Use the moonlight to show you the way. Stab the beast through its heart, to free you from its torment and pain. Right. Is something in here? No. Oh, hello. Right, as I was saying, I'm gonna fucking shiv you with a screwdriver if you betray me. Oh, you found Jack's bat? Yeah, I don't even understand how he got down here. I'm gonna use it to break that thing's nose. Good. You should probably find something to fight with too. Might be something down here. I'm hoping so. Right, is that the way out of the basement? Hmm. Okay. Ah. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we're going to have to bounce this into that room there, aren't we? There we go. Just rotate that. There you go. About there. And then if I keep twisting this around... Like, all the way around the room, probably using every single mirror, we might be able to eventually hit this. Oh! There! Hey! There we go! Ooh, that'll be the sword, right? It's a silver sword! Okay, perfect for werewolves, I suppose. Good stuff. So, is that, like, a proper... Yeah. It's a proper weapon. Um, uh, you know what? No. Let's, let's de-equip that. Don't, well, don't drop that. Equip that. Equip that. There you go. There's the combo that I want. Okay. Alright, so this is a stabbing weapon. Right. Um, is there anything else to do? I mean, I guess, I guess let's save again. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to rotate all those mirrors again. Right. How's this for a weapon? Are you sure you're ready to go? We need to be prepared. Uh, I think I'm prepared. Let's leave. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. No, oh, this is the way out. Oh, there it is. Right. I don't know how much help he's going to be with that bat, honestly. But hey, if he dies, he dies. He says he's going to break his face, motherfucker. Are you though? Oh, oh shit! Oh! Straight through the chest. Yeah, die, you monster! Did... Did we do it? Yeah. I think we did. Are you okay? 
I don't know. That thing cut me up pretty good. Yeah, me too, really. Oh, James is now vomiting. Okay, I feel a bit better now, actually. Yeah. I'm vomiting too. It's yellow in colour and almost glowing. Some strange chunks present in the spew. It feels as though the claws digging into your chest since you woke up finally released. And you can breathe again. Yeah. Me too, actually. I can't believe we actually killed it. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. We should go find help. Okay. And it seems like that is where it comes to an end. But hold on. We vomited that stuff up, right? Does that mean that we're no longer going to turn into Wolfmen ourselves? Because I think we were going to, right? But maybe because we killed the Wolfman that infected us, we've broken the chain, we've broken the link? Is that how it works? Maybe? <laughs> I mean, I kind of hope so, but I don't know. Maybe we're going to be walking off into the sunrise there, and just around the corner, we're going to turn. Not really sure. But uh, that was Fear the Moon, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. All right, what did you think? I thought this was pretty good overall. Pretty short, but pretty sweet. Pretty janky, pretty simple. The boss fight at the end was a little one note, unfortunately, but overall I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, I like the prologue in chapter one, getting introduced to the characters, uh, getting introduced to the Wolfman as well. That was quite creepy at the beginning, and then inside the house in chapter two. A little bit of stealth here and there, hiding from the Wolfman, you know, going back and forth with items, solving puzzles. Yeah, overall, Really quite a fun experience, and considering that this was all done by a solo dev, all the more impressive, honestly. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. What did that thing do to me? Yeah, what indeed. Well, that thing didn't lock you in, apparently. <laughs> Might have stuffed you in the cage, but that was it. Oh, oh shit, that's Melissa, isn't it? I suppose there is going to be a reason to hide at some point. Oh shit. <laughs> and maybe that time is now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, right. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? That looked goofy as hell, but it still freaked me out. What the hell is this? Do I need to drop anything off? I don't think so. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh shit. Oh shit, okay, time to go, time to go, time to go! Right, okay, so... Where do I do the laundry around here? Jesus fucking Christ! It wasn't supposed to be like this! What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean, James? Uh, nothing. No, no don't, uh, nothing me! I don't suppose I can just, like... No. <laughs> um... <laughs> Look, I know I'm twisted, but I really didn't mean for it to end up like this. Can you ever forgive me? No! I don't know how much help he's going to be with that bat, honestly. But hey, if he dies, he dies.